I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Hi, so this week I'm here with Lisa Jacobson. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. I'm super excited to do it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also really excited that you were on board for doing this outdoors. I think it'll actually be really logical when we get into some of our discussions. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so um, we did sit down uh, for those uh, candidate forums or candidate questions. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like some of the answers were revealed a little bit in what I normally ask. So we might go a little different direction. But just remind everybody, how did you end up here in New Holstein? I met my husband when we were both in the Air Force in, uh, in Florida back way back in the 80s. Um, he's from New Holstein and he spent 25 years in the Air Force. Uh, he called me one day, we were stationed in Tampa, and he said he was up here hunting and I was stuck in Tampa and he says, hey, I've made a command decision. Um, we're going to... Uh, Move to Florida without jobs. I mean, excuse me. We're going to move to Wisconsin with no jobs. Um, I'm retiring. Let's go. Can we go today? Oh, wow. Yeah, his family's here. He grew up here. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Was there something about him being back in that moment that, like, triggered it for him that he talks about now? Or Yes. Uh, his parents are here. Um, he was up. He was sitting in the deer woods, and he said, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to have to hunt with my dad. And, you know, mom and dad are getting a little older and we just, we need to be up with them. They, they took care of us forever and it's time. It's time yeah. to spend time with the, with the parents. And my parents are gone, so, and they, I, you know, you know as mom and dad. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, they're just great. Yeah. And, uh, well, and, and I understand that seems to be a common theme of people returning to the place that they left, that they call home. It's wherever their family is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, cool. So you came here with no job. Okay. Did, you ha did you take up any odd jobs when you got here? My very first job, and I, w I was really bored. Um, so my very first job was at the Piggly Wiggly. Mm -hmm. I had a blast. <laughs> it, was, it was so much fun. I was there for about six months, and then, um, you know, like, uh, physically I couldn't work anymore. But um, it was so much fun. All day, I just talked to people, and you know, I like to talk to people. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he worked for a while at Walgreens in Fond du Lac for a couple of years. He was pharmacy in the Air Force. And he said, oh, well, I can, management, this is great, I'll be in management again. Uh, no, pharmacy in a Walgreens, or pharmacy techs or whatever he did, management. Management is stocking shelves, and he just, yeah, yeah, he was over it in a minute. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the talking to people, do you feel like you got to, I, I've, talk, I've spoken with other people who are like, um, didn't live here, aren't mm -hmm. from here, and came here, uh, and then it's kind of like that time that it takes you to become familiar with the community. Mm -hmm. I even say the marker for me is now when I go into Piggly Wiggly, I know so many, you know what I mean? Like now I feel a part of the community <laughs> because I go in and it's, oh, hey, hey, I know everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you got a jump start on that in that six months? Maybe that's what was. <laughs> I did. And when I would introduce myself to somebody, hi, I'm Lisa Jacobson. Who are you? <gasps> Jacobson. Yeah. Are yeah. you, are you related to Mel? I am. Who? That's my father-in-law. So every single person, it got to a point, oh, so which kid are you married to? I'm married to Mike. He's the middle child. So after a while, it was like, hi, I'm Lisa Jacobson. Are you? Yes. I'm married to Mike. Yeah, yeah. And Mel's your... my father-in-law. Right. And, because everybody had Mel in high school. He taught right. for over 40 years. Right. He was, you know, the guy who was the athletic director. And yeah. Carol taught, was a librarian, and she taught at, yep. the, uh, at the Catholic school. And so, I mean, everybody knows them. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, that's a fun first job and way to get into the community. What were some of your immediate favorite things right here in New Holstein? Oh, gosh. Immediate. Um, oh, park. you can even talk about what changed. The, in oh, there. my gosh. The park. I, I used to love to go to the park. Well, I still do. I like to take my walks and go into the park. But it's just the people. And mm -hmm. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Big city. I didn't know my neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, 
here. I mean, like you said, you walk into Piggly Wiggly, you know everybody. Go to the True Value, you know everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, go into the bar, you know everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it's so great. it's a feel, not a place. It really and is. For me, that that's it, too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so we had spoken uh, earlier about some of the things that you were doing right now and I said oh okay don't talk anymore because I want to just like discover them organically I'm so excited about um so recently you went back to school I did talk about that and what you're doing now oh my gosh after last time I was in college I took a couple classes when we were stationed in Bossier City Louisiana I took you know a couple classes here and there so that was in the early 90s mm -hmm. 80s I don't know well, I got out in 19... 30 years ago. A very, so. very, very long time ago. <laughs> and when I first went to college, I first went to college in 1980. So, yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to learn something, and um, I decided to go back to LTC in Cleveland to study horticulture. Mm -hmm. And the original plan was, I'm going to learn about plants so I don't, every spring, bother those lovely people at Honeymoon Acres anymore for... That, and as I said in the can, it's from, that is my happy place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. they're great. But every spring, I go over, okay, so where do I put this plant? I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I knew what to do with it when I dug it up out of the ground and would dry it. And I knew what to do. But so that was the original plan. I was going to uh, just learn about plants. Well, then in one of my classes I took, we had to do a project that was... We had, it was called a restoration project. We had to restore something to however we wanted it to be. So I picked Civic Park mm -hmm. and it was groovy. And I learned that I, that I had a knack for putting plants in the right places and, and for making it look pretty. Yeah. So then I decided to turn, the, turn it into a degree for landscape design. Yeah, cool. So what are the projects you did Civic Park? You Was that on paper? Or? That was just on paper. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, what are some projects that you are hoping to take from paper to the dirt, I to can say, maybe? <laughs> well, and this is this is like a dream. It, it's actually my husband's dream. Um, when he was running for mayor, all three candidates went to the, and I'm directionally challenged, the senior center that way. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> and, and they they talked to the to the people there and um he came away from it and he says, Well this this isn't optimal. Um I mean it's it's nice enough. You know, it, the utilities department gave them a building which was really nice and they have their meals there and but you know, as my husband said, these are our parents and our grandparents and us in a couple of years. <laughs> and, and there's just, the furniture is mismatched and um, things, you know, you want better. You want better for the seniors, right? Well, he learned some things. He learned that it's not, even if he, even if he had won the election, um, it's not uh, the purview of the city. Um, uh, it's uh, ADRC, which is a county program. Um, so the city couldn't do anything anyway, but my husband kind of, you know, got a little bug in his head and he said, I want to get a citizens committee together. I'm going to talk to the service organizations. I'm going to do this stuff. We'll raise money. We're going to take care of our seniors, do the best we can. Hello, COVID-19. <laughs> COVID hit, mm -hmm. shut everything down, right. including the senior center. Well, they're back. I think they went back this week or next week. Oh, really? Oh, yep, cool. they did. Um, so Mike and I went over, and um, I mean, it's it's going to be a long term thing. And yeah. He wants to, you know, just talk to the community. Well, he would do the inside, and I want to do the outside. Ah, and yeah. I have uh, well, only one um, horticulture class this term, and that is. It's an internship with my instructor. I have to pick a place and do do a total design, you know, from the site analysis, you know, the, the drawings, the plan drawings, uh, you know, all the drawings, um, and and do that. So I got permission just, you know, to go and take measurements and stuff. I talked to the utilities and stuff, and um, 
my dream is to turn, is to take that from paper to eventually having having the money to to do yeah. that. Um, we went the other day and because uh, he wanted to talk to them, you know, about you know getting it started, and I was out doing measurements and everything, and you know, we got our, Mike and I have our tape measure out, and I'm you know pointing and stuff. I felt I felt kind of bad because the lady comes out. And she, Man, we got interrogated. Why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you taking these measurements? Yeah. Did you talk? Yeah, we, we talked to the right people. We really did. I just want to do this on paper, and I want to make you guys happy. <laughs> right. I'm so curious as to how... I, I feel like I have no concept whatsoever, maybe intentionally. Like, I go to Honeymoon Acres, you know, uh, several different times so that I don't have to see my bill all at once. <laughs> So I have no concept of what costs end up going, like what would the community group, the citizens group, be trying to raise to produce something like that that happens on the exterior, the landscaping? Oh, I don't even know. I don't, um, I'm not, I'm not like a, like a fight. I'm a dream person. I, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like you. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I you know, have I'm my actually little dreams super frugal and, and good with know. money. Yeah. And very good at that financial orientation part of it. Because I've never done a whole, you know, mm -hmm. project like that, like especially outdoors. I just like buy a bunch of plants. I'm like you are before this. Yeah. I pop them in the ground and I, I'm hoping that they you know, survive to get to the point that I know what to do with them. <laughs> right. <laughs> and there's very little planning, I would say, for me that goes into it. I walk into <laughs> Honeymoon Acres and I was like, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. And next thing you know, I have carts. So it's just so <laughs> curious, like, to, is part of that design process then, um, sometimes the analysis is also, what is the budget? So mm -hmm. like, say they said, I have this budget, then does do you incorporate that into the design part? Like, we can only afford this many plants. So. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, you know, and another thing that goes into it, too, that I never thought about ever, there's a lot I never thought about, um, yeah. is um, what they call site analysis. And it's a whole class on site analysis and soil. And you have to, you have to know what's underneath the green stuff. You have to know, yeah. you know, what kind of soil is it? Like, you can't put the same plants here that you can at where we're going up north. Right. Right. And not even for a second because the soil is so different. Mm -hmm. And um, and then you have to analyze, you know, how much sun is it getting? And, mm -hmm. you know, what do they want to do? And Or those differences between surviving and thriving as well. Yeah. You know, yeah, my mom was such a green thumb. And sometimes I think it was she was just doing site analysis organically she was like I tried peonies <laughs> here and it seemed that they didn't really work and then I put them over here and yeah. you know it's like that spot is more loamy or whatever it is but yep. yeah and the one thing I learned in class probably and I'm I'm not exactly a techie you know my my 12 year old grandson helps me with anything computery um, yeah yeah there is this the coolest coolest site I totally geeked out on it it's called the Weber Soil Survey. There's only two states um, that um, are totally mapped out. The soil in Wisconsin is totally mapped out. Oh. And it gives you so much stuff. I spent hours on it, just on my house. So in our area, like our own, if you lived in New Holstein, mm -hmm. you could go to what the Weber site. Weber Soil Survey. So Weber Soil Survey. I'll have to link that. And if yes. you live in New Holstein here, you could go look at what your own property would be. And that's what I'm going to no do with way. your house. So that way I can know if my plan... Oh, I will love work. that! <laughs> if it will oh, work. that's so cool. Um, I just, you, just, you type in an address and boom. Uh, one of my assignments was to take my house, and I just live by the quick trip, and um, just ask some questions. So... It has everything. If you want to know if you could turn your place into a golf course, if, if the soil would uh, would support that, you just go into the fairways and golf course tab on it. Uh, if you want to know what the pH is in your area, it, it there's everything in there. If you want to build a playground, if you want to know if your basement's going to collapse, if you want to know if it if your concrete will crumble, if you want to know if it will support iron, 
It's all there. I can't believe that I have never known about this resource. That it's, is so cool. And it's just fun. And I learned that it's no, free? it's free. Okay. It's free. And I learned that, yeah, no, it, no, a golf course would not fit, would not go, not only is, <laughs> is, it, is my property kind of little, yeah. but it, and it tells you why you could not put a fairway in there because, uh, oh, it just sounded horrible. It, it talked about muck and... It's like, that's like a real thing in the soil. I'm still learning soil, but. Yeah, um, that is yeah. so cool. Oh, wait till we see what your house is going to yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. I, muck is probably going to be a word used in there. I definitely have had flooding a couple of times, so. And it tells how close you are to the water table. And Actually, this morning, I was looking over for the senior center. Distance to the water table, zero inches. Yeah, so we're not we're not going to be putting a fairway in there, and there's a lot of things we're not going to yeah, be putting yeah. in there. Oh, how cool! Awesome. <laughs> well, um, I feel like oh yeah. So I always ask to just want to cover a couple uh -huh. of things. Sure. Do you have a favorite book? Oh, I have many favorite books mm -hmm. and authors. Right now, well, for the past year, I've been landscape design and you know books on soil and things like that. But now during the summer, um, I'm actually doing, doing light reading. You know, mm -hmm. I, I have, I got a um, book on um, Thomas More and Oliver Cromwell. You know, just a little bit of light reading. Yeah. I, like <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> nonfiction, it sounds no, like you tend to I, I like nonfiction, but I also love like fluff books. Like, yeah. um, I love Janet Ivanovich and, mm. um, yeah. Mary Jane saves like vampire. Mm -hmm. It's just cute, just funny yeah. books, and I like um, Patterson, and mm -hmm. I kind of, I kind of like have this really eclectic taste. I guess I am shocked <laughs> to hear that, Lisa. <laughs> Imagine that. No, I feel like you do have that dichotomous personality <laughs> where you can buckle down. I mean, just military background. You talk about that, and so you you arrive 15 minutes early because you have that rigidity and yet you have the fluidity of an artist as well so i love that i oh, think it's a you. great quality <laughs> so, so it makes perfect sense that your reading styles would match that personality yeah um and then the only other question i usually ask and i i, I love food uh, so i always wonder who people would sit down with you'd sit down for a meal with anybody past or present who would it be what would be served oh oh so for a long time historical dead guy, it would be Henry VIII. Oh, oh, and I would just, I would just chow whatever he was eating because you know, yeah, um, that's like meat dipped in wine that era, right? That would, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be just, I'd <laughs> love yeah, that. Yeah, um, and if ancestry is to be believed, he is my twenty fifth great grand uncle. Wow. If ancestry is to be believed, I don't know, but he was just. There was so much to him. He was so deep, and mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> I would love to. And for a short time, a uh, person not historical, I would sit down with my dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, it would be my dad, and oh, we and we'd be we'd be eating steak and baked potatoes and yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was your meat. That was the like that reminds you of, of family. my dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Well, I think that's all my questions. Sweet. Do you have anything else that you wanted to cover or talk about that we missed? No, but you did mention at the beginning that you had some you had some questions from um, our candidate thing that you that you wanted to talk about. Are we no, going to no, do it no. another time? No, I meant like uh, <laughs> when we did that. I feel like so oh. in this library thing, we usually yeah. cover some of the similar things yeah. about how you ended up oh, here yeah. and you know what some of your favorite things are, projects that oh, you're yeah. interested in. And I feel like we kind of already we covered some we of did. that in that candidate thing. <laughs> so I was like, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't cover the same and explore new areas. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is so much fun. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I agree. Thank you for coming outside for it, too. It's lovely. Oh, so, got to be outside. This is my favorite part of the job. And like you, I enjoy talking to people, getting to know people. Yeah. It, for me, has been like how I can find my way into this community as well and like understand people and what draws them here. So I love it. Oh. So, yeah, well, thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. again time for book talking this time it's me Amy um, summer's coming up well summer might be here but um, depending upon what the weather's like today but in any case 
our summer theme this year is tales and tales and everyone from the small to the tall likes animals right so i have some books for the small and the tall that have to do with animals we'll start with the pokey little puppy if you're a little person here's a the pokey little puppy will work for you I mean, a board book very sturdy then we have one of my children's favorites at home elephant and piggy so that's the in-betweeners we also have many, many picture books on animals, even one about an axolotl, if any of you even know what that is, but this is Dewdrop, the axolotl. We also have many nonfiction books about animals, such as this brand new one called The Animal Atlas. It has very colorful pictures. Check out the frog. And this one is a favorite of my family and many families. It's called The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. It's a very touching story if you've ever read it. And then for the taller people, we also have Animal Farm. I know, not a very thrilling cover, but a classic. And also Life of Pi. And now we do have a cute picture. Dewey, the library cat. And finally, of course, there's also DVDs here, so we have the Art of Racing in the Rain, which is also a book. So thank you for joining me for Book Talk, and we'll see you again next time. I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. I'm going down to the library, shh.